The James Madison Institute for the last 20 years has been the voice of freedom for our great state of Florida. Uh, whether it's been to advocate education reform and school choice, uh, meaningful health care reform, uh, a sound transportation policy. Over the years, JMI has been a source of fantastic ideas for uh, candidates for office and during my eight years of governor, I relied on them, uh, their ideas in many, many ways. In fact, it gave me great joy to steal those ideas on a regular basis and work hard to implement them. And as JMI now approaches its 20th anniversary, um, I know that going forward they will continue to provide great advice to uh, principle-centered candidates and they will continue to advocate for the timeless principles that have created the greatness of our state and the greatness of our country. I'm Bob McClure, president of the James Madison Institute. JMI is a nonpartisan public policy organization engaged in the battle of ideas in the public policy arena. We're devoted to the principles of our founders, liberty, freedom, and the promotion of personal responsibility. We'd like to take a few minutes to share with you this wonderful history of the Institute now celebrating 20 years of existence. Talk with you about the present and what the bright future holds for JMI. While James Madison Institute is a statewide organization, we're based in Tallahassee, in large part because here at the Capitol is where the decision makers gather. We often get the question, of, what the heck's a think tank anyway? I don't know who originated the term think tank, and it may not be the most appropriate. I think a better term might be a public policy organization. But anyway, a think tank uh, is an organization that exists to deal in ideas. We want to advance to the people of Florida, and the people generally, uh, our ideas about public policy. And the particular ideas we want to advance are free markets, the value of free markets, liberty in the broadest sense, limited government, things of that kind. And so we exist to bring together people who share those ideas and want to join us in advancing those ideas in public policy uh, applicable to the broad range of our people. I always tell people that we're in the ideas business. And with that comes, I think, as you said, the kind of thoughtful, well-researched response to the issues of the day. It's not propaganda. It's not um, uh, screaming and yelling, but a thoughtful uh, position on the issues that Floridians face, that our policymakers, that uh, citizens face each and every day, kind of the kitchen table issues, if you will. Yeah, I, I think that puts it, puts it well. And it may lead to a discussion of uh, what is it that we do? You've mentioned that we do research and we take pride in doing that and doing it well. But the ideas we advance are clearly those that relate to our founder, in a sense, our founder, James Madison. Uh, he was a, a proponent of limited government, of freedom in the broadest and best sense. And so when we sought for a name, we decided that uh, James Madison wouldn't be a bad way to go. We're celebrating 20 successful years, but how did it all begin? Let's take a quick look back. I had had a career, a long career in education the last 20 years or so in higher education. And many of the ideas that go into public policy, that make a public policy, are coming from the, from the educational institutions. And that's fine. That's as it ought to be. But I had the feeling that there were some ideas that were neglected, or at least not emphasized in the way that I thought they might be. And uh, I uh, related to many people, including those from the academy, economists and others, who believed that we ought to give a wider exposure to free markets, to the great ideas of capitalism, uh, to limited government, to freedom in the best sense, and that uh, I sort of didn't feel those ideas were being expressed and advanced as widely as I thought they might be. And that was really the, the basis for the founding of the James Madison Institute. What does it take to educate Floridians on the issues of the day? The James Madison Institute produces numerous policy papers, both short and long, on the issues that face Floridians, nonpartisan, well-researched documents. We also do events across the state. Some of our most recent speakers have included former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, Peter Schweitzer, and Steve Moore of the Wall Street Journal. 
I think James Madison Institute is one of the best investments that conservatives and free market advocates can make in the state of Florida. I can't imagine the legions of bad policies that would be coming out of Tallahassee, higher taxes, more regulation, big wasteful spending, if it weren't for the stalwarts at the James Madison Institute fighting liberals every single day the legislature is in session. If Florida, you know, is really kind of a microcosm of the nation as a whole, our rural versus urban, and um, class, and um, the, the different demographics in our state, if we can get public policy right here in Florida, from a free market, limited government standpoint, it has national implications for the entire country. Florida is really the bellwether state in the union and really can be the bellwether state in the union for all that is good. So I see the future of JMI continuing to be impacting, having a meaningful impact on public policy in our state that will not only have local and state implications, but national implications as well. Over the years, the James Madison Institute has been guided by a board of directors that is both recognized and respected across the state of Florida. I'm very proud to be a board member of the James Madison Institute. Uh, I was recruited by Stan Marshall and I've seen it come a long way. And I can tell you now that I'm in public service as the Attorney General of Florida, that those of us who are in public office really put to use the research, the free market system research that everybody knows that GMI produces. I have the journal, I read it regularly, we get backgrounders, this is great information, and I know it's perhaps even more important to the legislature to have this research. And it's important to the people of Florida to know that there is a free market oriented think tank in our state really putting out material because we really don't have the time in, in government to do all this research on our own. So JMI is, performs an, an invaluable service. I'm a member of JMI because I believe in the principles that it embodies put forth by James Madison and that continue in the James Madison Institute. I believe in the American dream and I believe that the principles of James Madison Institute further the principles of the American dream where every young boy or girl can grow up to be whatever he or she is willing to work hard enough for. The James Madison Institute does this through thoughtful research, through commenting on matters that affect the government and our services and how we conduct ourselves. I like being part of an organization that makes a difference. I have been immensely proud to be a part of James Madison Institute and support and a supporter. Uh, as it has been successful in developing its ideas and promoting its ideas and defending its ideas. And the degree of acceptance throughout the state and the nation. When policymakers have inquired and invited the information developed here, James Madison Institute is a great and influential organization and I'm proud to be a part of it. I became a member of JMI a number of years ago when the president of JMI came and made a presentation to the Gulf Coast Economic Club and I was immediately impressed by JMI's mission statement, um, its integrity, its vision. All those were in line with my values and as I joined JMI and became more involved with JMI, I saw that they would bring ideas, ideas to government's attention. Those ideas can then be turned into action to make life better for all Floridians. That's why I support JMI. They're doing a good job in helping making life better here in Florida. Thomas Jefferson reminds us that the tendency is for government to grow, which bids liberty to retreat. From taxes to health care to education to private property rights and more, there will always be a need to engage in the battle of ideas as to the role of government in our lives. The James Madison Institute is here to protect those liberties for the future of Florida.